then I feel down. Yeah, but you know why I don't? Because God is in control. I did. For God, you have to think I, about the first God night. is in control. And if God is in control, then, I mean, look at all these people. You look on Facebook and you look everywhere else. You see all these people, you know, pray for Trump and pray for this. How can all the, with all them prayers, with all these Christian people supposed to be praying for Trump, how could we go wrong? Regardless, yeah, even, right. even if right, it was right. Hillary, right. with all the people that would be praying for her, then how, how could we go wrong? But you for some reason, God chose this man. Yep, for some for reason. For some reason, he chose he, this man to be in the White House for us to pray for. So how could we go wrong? So true. How could we go so wrong? So true. You know, I, I was looking at it because all the things that he was saying. And you know what I was worrying about? What No, what I'm worried about most is to see when they shoot down the black kids in the street. Mm. Whether, they, whether they have a gun, whether they they unharm, mm. every time they shoot up. I feel it for everybody, mm. but it's the black people. Are being yeah, but we to. just have to I, pray. We still have to continue to pray that love is going to prevail. Oh, God. You know what I mean? Love. Because people, you know, and me and somebody else were talking about that earlier. People use Trump as a scapegoat for racism. Yes. Trump can't turn no grown person to be no racist. That means you was there all along, but you feel. Yes. Maybe you feel because he's the president that it's okay for you to do that. But that means you were, you were there all along. I'd rather be able to know who my enemy is than Don't to try to guess who it is anyway. Right? So, we, you know, all we have to do, we just have to continue to pray. Like you was, we was praying before this election and the presidency, we have to continue to pray after it. Because you figure, you have some people who think when Obama was president, oh, the world, this is terrible, and, I, and I, we made it. Trump gonna be president. <laughs> we gonna make it, so and uh, unless the mm-hmm. Lord come and take us on, yeah. we gonna continue gonna to make it until He say we not gonna make Amen. it. That's how. So Amen. I don't feel I. I. It's just it's another day for me. Whoever's in the White House, I mean, I you know I don't know yeah. mm-hmm. the the politics and things that that's gonna go on. But it's just another day. True. I I God said He was gonna take care of me. True. I'm believing His word. True. I ain't believing in in no politician or nobody else because there's only so much that they can do. But God can do it all. Amen. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm not Amen. I'm not I'm not relying on somebody else's word who can barely take care of themselves or no, something happen. No. They are gonna throw me under the bus. But I know God gonna hold me. Up no matter what no matter so what true, so like true. like this is mm-hmm. supposed to be so hard for him like he can't turn the hearts and minds of, of people true. he turned us true. True. so, so he true. definitely you he know, you know you know you said some, you, you you're right mm-hmm. you're right you're right i wasn't even thinking i said well you know if, if some people talk about oh poverty and, and talking about money i don't care about money mm-hmm. i care about only thing that bothered me mm-hmm. is that is this gonna cause our black kids to be dying mm-hmm. in the street like what I see a few weeks ago and mm-hmm. Obama put something into place to stop our friends they can't get any job mm-hmm. because I don't look right here I mm-hmm. look where I hate to see the kids suffer yeah they they, hurt, they lock them up and mm-hmm. then they can't get a job right, for right, any little right, stupidness for right. sometimes for nothing mm-hmm. and put something on them mm-hmm. and said they do and then they out there and you see your kids suffering can't get no job can't mm-hmm. get no this so that was what i'm thinking about right. what's gonna happen but apart from money i don't care mm-hmm. about cutting no taxes yeah. that provide for me yeah. every day every and it will provide for all of us all even of if us. we have to go back and use that a wood stove that many that's kids right. don't know ha, whatever that's we were, right we got to cut the meat and put ha. it under the fire and i don't care i only think i care about yolanda mm-hmm. we've seen our kids dying like a dog in the yeah. street there's a few videos that i see the other day man i cry for days and i cry for weeks this was a great discussion and i hope everyone enjoyed it i just want you all to remember god is still on the throne Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all of your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. That's Proverbs 3, 5, and 6. Uh, He, God, shall direct your path. Not the president. Obama didn't direct that path last in his season. The new president-elect will not be directing it in this season. It says trust in the Lord. It doesn't say trust in the president. So therefore, again... Don't be weary. Don't get fearful. Look up. Trust in the Lord. Look to the hills which cometh your help. Our help comes from the Lord. 
Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity. We thank you for the opportunity to come boldly to your throne, Lord Jesus, asking you for the guidance and protection that we know that you so willingly provide. We thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you for this election, even though some may not agree with the outcome, but we know that your ways are higher than our ways. Your The things that you want to go on in this world will go on as you plan. You have already foreseen the day, this day, and the days that will come after it. And so we know, Lord Jesus, that if we keep our hand in your hand, we put our trust in you that everything is going to be all right. We realize that even with trials, you said that you would be there with us. Even with uncertainties, you said that you would be there with us. You said that you would never leave us or forsake us. And Heavenly Father, we're so thankful. We're thankful because we know that you are true to your word. So Lord, we just ask you to keep us. We just ask you to guide us. We just thank you, Lord Jesus, because we know that you will continue to provide for us, Lord. We just ask you, Heavenly Father, to in this season right now, Father, we are asking you to bring peace, Lord Jesus. Bring peace to our land. Bring peace to our hearts. Bring peace to our loved ones, Lord Jesus. Help us, Lord Jesus, to turn away from doing the things that are unpleasing to you and turn towards the things that are pleasing to you. In the precious name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. And everyone, have a blessed day. And remember, you can always Email me at instepwgod at gmail.com. Have a blessed day.